will see the cubic system. In cubic system, uh, we will uh, have 2, 3, 2 by m, 3 bar, 4, 3, 2, 4 bar, 3 m, 4 by m, 3 bar, 2 by m. These 5 classes. In cubic system, we have 13 axes. So, this will be a little complicated. 13 axes of symmetry. So, we will begin with uh, 2, 3. So, before we begin, uh, you must know that how the operation proceeds. Suppose we take the three, so in this uh, three component uh, uh, classes, we take x, y and z. That means first element is represented by x. And I suppose this is 4 is represented by x and y is represented by uh, the second element and uh, z represents the third element. And same, similarly here, we will represent it as 2, 3 and th because there is nothing in the third one, we will represent it as 0. So, here the x will have, x will represent the 3, a1, a2 and a3 axis, 3 perpendicular axis and y will represent the 4 diagonal axis, diagonal of 2 fold, sorry, 3 fold symmetry and z will represent the 6 diagonals of two-fold symmetry. So, the operation will proceed like this, x, then z, then y. So, first we will draw the x one uh, for 2, 3. 2, 3, we will perform the 2, 3 means 2, 3, 0. So, first x, x means, first we will draw circle like as usual, then this is one axis, this is another axis, and this is the third axis. That means if you take this one, this as a1, a2, so this will be, be I don't know what it is still. So this will be a3. So because it will be a disturbance, I will rub it out. So this is a1, a2, and this is a3. So we need to see what kind of axis these are. So a1, a2, a3 are axis of twofold. So this will be twofold, 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 and this is also twofold. Now the z part. Z we don't have anything, so we will just mention the axis. So for uh, the six uh, uh, axis of two diagonal axis of twofold, we will represent it as six one. This is 2, this is 3, this is 4 and then we have 5, then 6. So x is complete, then z is complete, then proceed to y. y is uh, three fold axis that means four diagonals of three fold so these are represented here these are the axis of three fold one axis of three fold and this is another axis of three fold at the intersection another axis of three fold this is another axis of three fold so we have all the axes represented here now we will proceed to the operation so first we will do the operations of the three fold one so here if you take an element uh, at each 120 degree we will have the operation that means here and then here and now as because this axis is a two fold axis and this axis is a two fold axis so when we proceed to this uh, three fold axis for operation these elements will change according to two fold and then proceed with the three fold operation so this dot will be changed to a circle then it will begin with uh, the proceed with the threefold operation so now this circle because this axis this is a1 axis is a twofold axis this circle when uh, passing this crossing this a2 uh, a1 sorry a1 axis it will become dot and then proceed with the threefold operation at least one uh, and the uh, same here this is circle, circle, circle. So this is the figure 
function and this is known as tetar toid this is a tetar toid now we will see the 2 by m 3 bar 2 by m 3 bar that means 2 by m 3 bar 0 so this is x this is y this is z so now that means all these axes all a1 a2 a3 have a mirror plane perpendicular to it because it is by m so let's uh, so the circle will be a solid line circle will be a solid line and this axis is a solid line this axis is a solid line so if this is a1 this is a2 and this is a3 and these are also of two fold symmetry so this is a two fold this is a two fold and this is a two fold also this now we will represent the diagonal axis we don't have any operation along diagonal axis but we need to represent so we will represent that one. diagonal axis Fold axis because the y operation involves three bar, we will represent them as three bar. Three bar symbol is like this. Similarly, here three bar, three bar. So first we will see the operation along uh, this axis. So the three uh, three bar rotation axis dot will change to circle. Circle will change to dot at each 120 degree. So because this is a mirror plane as well as this is a two fold axis. And if you remember, if this plane, this circle, that is a if it is a mirror plane, then we have the notation like this because this dot will have its circular projection in the lower hemisphere so and this dot will also have and this is because it is in the lower hemisphere it will have its projection in the upper hemisphere so, okay. <coughs> so and because the, uh, the figure comes like this we don't have to worry about what other figures will look, look like so we will just This is the figure for 2 by n 3 bar. And this is known as diploid. Diploid. Okay, we'll proceed to 4, 3, 2. This is the given that x is of fourfold axis. So this is a fourfold symbol, fourfold symbol. Fourfold you can write like this or like this. It should be a circular thing. Doesn't matter how you represent it. You will understand why I have drawn it like this and not like diamond when we do the operations. So now we will draw the diagonal axis. Yes. 
theory of relativity, so that this is here to understand. Okay, now the threefold expression. y position there are three so we will always get this diagonal because we have four diagonals of three four one two three four so we will see the operation here first the threefold operation dot will be dot will be dot that is 120 degree and because uh, because this is a four fold operation it will repeat similarly dot 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 and we shall see now y uh, sorry x y and the z one the z operation we, we will see because z uh, it represents that uh, diagonals six diagonals of two fold and uh, so they are two fold axis Because we cannot represent this here, so we represent it here. This is twofold, this is twofold, that means this axis is of twofold and this axis is of twofold. Similarly, this axis here, this is of twofold and this is of twofold here. This is twofold, this is twofold. So we have all the twofold axis represented. Now we will do the operations about the twofold axis. Because this dot is uh, will have its twofold operation the, about this axis, this diagonal we will get a circle here, and this circle will also have a twofold operation about this axis. So we already have a dot. So here each gap will be represented as circle. Similarly, here we will have this as dot. Uh, sorry, circle. This dot will have circle, and you can see automatically. This two, uh, this axis of twofold. Oh, sorry, this is a uh, fourfold axis. Okay, okay. We'll do the continue with the twofold operation first. The twofold. This will be having twofold here, and here, here, here. done so you can see each uh, operation satisfies the uh, figures like if you see this diagonal it will have opposite symbols here and this diagonal also has opposite symbol this diagonal also has opposite symbol because they are twofold so this is for 432 and 432 is known as gyro now for bar 3n Four bar three n, so x y z, x we will draw the circle and a one a two a three, a three is always here. So four bar is represented by this symbol four bar. So we will denote it like this. Four bar. Four bar, four bar, four bar, and four bar. So this is a four bar axis, and then we will draw the diagonals. So the diagonals are mirror planes. So we need to draw the mirror plane. Solid lines. Six diagonals drawn. Now the threefold axis. So 
So we will begin with the threefold operation first. So this is dot, this is dot, this is dot, and because this is a fourfold operation, a fourfold axis which is four bar, it will have a rotation here. So each uh, 90 degree we will have inversion. That is meant uh, circle. And this is circle. And here it will be dot, 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 and circle, circle, circle. But because these are mirror planes, these diagonals are mirror plane, we will have their reflections like this. So circle will be having circle like this. This is a 4 bar 3 m and it is known as x tetrahedron x tetrahedron this figure might look complicated but if you do stepwise you will get to know how it is done and it will be easy the final one is 4 by m 3 bar 2 by m so, 4 by m, 3 bar, 2 by m, we will proceed similarly, uh, this, here we have um, by m in the uh, area a1, a2 and a3 axis, so we will have solid lines drawn all over, this is a solid line, mirror plane, solid line, These are also fourfold. Fourfold, fourfold, fourfold. Then diagonals. Diagonals are also having mirror planes perpendicular to them. So each diagonal will be a mirror plane because it will be perpendicular to another diagonal. So each diagonal will also be a mirror plane. mirror plane now the uh, y is of 3 bar these are diagonals are 3 bar 3 bar three bar so, so first we'll do the 3 bar operation and because this plane is a mirror plane we don't have to worry about anything so there do everything like this so this is the figure 4 by m 3 bar 2 by m this is known as x octa had drawn. So this will satisfy everything, the threefold rotation, the fourfold rotation and the mirror plane operations. So this is all about your HM symbols, crystallographic projection of the 32 classes.